consistent thing in the past couple months is one, I've been waking up at noon. Two, I have zero motivation to do anything. Three, I've been attached to my phone like it's an extension of my arm. I've decided that not gonna use her for the next couple of days. I've already turned my phone off. I'm gonna put her in this bag I got. If you can hear miscellaneous noise in the background, it's because our upstairs AC is broken. It's 88 degrees in my room. Therefore, I just have fans on and my windows open at all times. There you go. It's a clear bag and I'm putting my phone in this and not going to open it. The main reason why I've been wanting to do this is because I've been feeling like I'm so attached to my phone at all times and it's gotta stop. And I also realized that I've been using my phone to procrastinate from things that I want to do, which doesn't really make sense because it's like, if you really wanted to do it, then you wouldn't procrastinate on it, but I, I don't. I don't get it either. Basically, I'm gonna stop using my phone just for a couple days. I'm gonna vlog about it. Hopefully by the last day or the next two days, I will also stop using my computer as well as my iPad. I'm making the exception today because I still have an assignment due and I need my iPad. Maybe it's because it's hot as Hades in my room, but I just want to do nothing. Well, welcome to a technology-free vlog. It's so hot in my room. Also, this is perfect and I feel like the world is telling me that I need to do this today because my Wi-Fi was down or my Wi-Fi is down. Let's get analogued. I'm done journaling, but now I'm like, what am I gonna do with myself? I'm kind of hungry. Okay, let's go eat. I don't really know what to do, but I also know that I've been meaning to clean my bathroom for a while. So I'm gonna finally do that. And I wanted to listen to my audiobook while doing that, but obviously I can't because my audiobook is on my phone. So instead, I'm just gonna listen to some music. Let's go through this collection. Maybe a CD. Wait a second. I totally forgot, but I have CDs. Oh my god. Quality stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god! 1989 and red are probably favorite Taylor albums. But then thinking back about it, Taylor was so sad during 1989 and it makes me really sad. But new romantic! Okay, I'm gonna listen to red. I wanna feel like 14 again. Let's play this music! I feel so much better after I cleaned my bathroom and like changed. 10 out of 10 would do the thing. Please go clean your bathrooms. ready for bed. I successfully finished a day without using my phone but honestly it does not feel like anything has changed because I've been spending a lot of time on my iPad doing the same things as I would do on my phone. I just finished and submitted my assignment. Since I feel like nothing has really changed, I'm thinking of just cutting off technology altogether. Although tomorrow morning I need to do some things on the internet, so I'll be doing that. Contacting and finding an AC repair company because it is so hot. So I'm gonna call the bug company. I need to write this down. <laughs> Uh 
Good morning, friends. I have to do some errands on my computer. I'm going to try to finish up these things right now. And then I'm going to move on with my day. Get this over with. In all honesty, today's vlog feels so boring because I didn't really do anything. <laughs> I ran some errands, went to Costco. I was reading for a sec. Aside from that, it's been honestly very dull. I'm gonna work out and then I'm gonna go eat and then read this. Although if I'm being honest, I am kind of really liking life without my phone. It's like I don't really feel bad for not responding to people. Let's get back to work. I downloaded a dynamic wallpaper and it's so beautiful. Beautiful, look at it. ended up not reading and just browsing the internet for a solid four hours so it really does not feel like i did not use my phone it just feels like i didn't use social media like i didn't go to instagram everything else is the same so i've decided that i am not going to use technology at all tomorrow hopefully that way hold on no just kidding. Hopefully the AC company responds to my emails. So I'll just check it in the morning. But after that, I'm not going to use any form of technology. The exception of my camera. I'm hoping slash planning on making some bread tomorrow. But it's a new recipe. So I actually printed out the recipe. And I'm going to try that out. And I've originally been following one of Nike training programs programs. So I was going to do one of that. But... Obviously, I have to do it on the app. It's not really something where I could just do exercises. So I think I'm just gonna do my own form of workout and stretch and but yeah, I'm ready for bed. I feel like today was so uneventful. <laughs> okay, yay, exciting stuff. Here's to another phoneless day. <laughs> I know I said I planned on waking up early today, but that didn't happen. I'm gonna go make bread. I think I need oat milk in order to make my bread, so I think I'm gonna go to Target. Here's to a day with no form of technology. Cut the Over ugly shot. one. Can you see it, mother? Okay. 
I know I said I tried to have a completely zero technology day, but I had to do something on my computer. And then I was looking at all my messages on Discord. Turns out I need to finalize the plans for Nostalgia Thong, which is coming up this week. I'm gonna have a FaceTime meeting tonight with me and Brianna, who are my two other co-hosts for the Readathon. After that, I was like, if I'm gonna be using my computer, might as well use my iPad to do the workouts that I need to do. So I'm gonna be using my iPad to to go on the Nike training app. Right now I am stretching and reading and then hopefully I will work out sometime soon because I just ate a lot of bread and I'm very full. So I'm gonna stretch. <laughs> I'm so tired. The trainer for the workout program that I'm doing, she's talking about energy levels and how to reduce or get rid of energy zappers. She was explaining this concept about people who basically like drain out your energy and don't make you feel motivated, just kind of make you feel tired. I think that is very relevant to what I am doing in general in terms of this no technology thing. I think I just needed a break from technology because technology is starting to make me feel unmotivated motivated and tired and like low energy so i'm really glad that i did this but then also because i've still been using my computer and my ipad i've still been in touch with people the interactions that i have seen and participated in really remind me that technology is magical and i'm very grateful to my friends and everything and i'm really excited to get back to using my phone starting tomorrow especially if i leave the house and i need to buy something because i don't really want to experience that again <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna go shower and then put in on my FaceTime call for nostalgia long plans. I am so excited for nostalgia long. <laughs> and I just finished charming as a verb. I've been waiting for the past three hours. This is so good, so good. I haven't read or like binge read a book in a really long time, so it makes me really happy. I think my 72 hours or whatever ends like noon. This book is so good. I just want to stay in bed. Okay. We're lost in my head and it's childish, this happy love. Time has come. It is 1 p.m. It's been 73 hours since I stopped using my phone, so turn this baby on. Or actually, get it out of this bag. I don't even know if it still has battery. Ah, okay. It really feels very anticlimactic because I just spent like the past hour or two on the computer, but I feel like a little bit more productive when I'm using the computer versus my phone. Wow, it still has 100% battery. Even though this is a very short challenge, I feel a lot better and more refreshed and more motivated and less compelled to pick up my phone and just scroll for hours. But I'm also really glad to be back. My packages are arriving today. I hope this very chaotic vlog inspired you to turn off your phone for a couple of days even if you're still able to use like, every other form of technology it feels a little bit refreshing to step away and not feel pressure to respond constantly and always be on I think especially now since a lot of us work from home or are still at home or at least in the US there isn't really a big barrier between work and personal life and even if we're not working, just social life is very draining sometimes. So I think it's important to take a step back. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little adventure of chaos and I'll see you next time. Bye!